This thing drives pretty well, though. Although the fact that it doesn't turn, it is a pretty good... Whoa! Start it. Oh. Thank you very much for that uh, beautiful introduction, uh, Village Chief. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. We have some missions to do. So, on the last episode, they sent me to, uh, you know, find the ancient tower, which is not too far from there. So, let's hop on to our beautiful HV, which uh, turns very, very slowly indeed. And let's go check out the ancient tower, which is, uh, you know, just under a kilometer away. This thing drives pretty well, though. Although the fact that it doesn't turn, it is a pretty good... Whoa! Start it. Oh. Okay. I um, found myself in a little predicament here. Rick, I hope you're adding underwater effect here. That is a great raccoon. Anyways, let's press O. And, 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 come on, you can do it. Ah, okay. Uh, let's try and get above water again so we can get out of this sticky situation and we are back on track you are approaching the tower now commander i am detecting faint electromagnetic readings coming from beneath the structure there appears to be some kind of entrance at the top of the tower commander well thank you very much for that information ida let's go in locked and loaded and uh yeah i, I still have the pistol but i threw away all the ammo and, uh, yeah, right-click is another type of firing that people told me in the comments that is apparently extremely powerful. I should keep that in mind once I get some more ammo. Anywho, enough blabbing around. Let's go inside and investigate. Find a way in. Well, obviously. Booyah! The design of this structure is more advanced than the Talon Village, but I see many similarities in the architecture. How could they be made by the same people? yet be so technologically different. There could be many reasons, Commander. But I surmise that the Zarax's presence here is the cause of their apparent regression. Yeah, that's at the top of my list too, but why send me here? To show what they once were? These devices appear to be some kind of holographic terminal and may contain the answers to your questions. There's no power, so I cannot interface with them. I am detecting a live energy conduit running behind that wall. Try pushing against the wall, Commander. Well, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Ha! This is, must be it. I found a lever. Looks like the power's on, NDA. All the lights and displays are lit up. I am reading an increase in data traffic, and I have remotely connected to the computer systems. They are operating on a base 8 numerical system, rather than our base 10. So it may take some time to adjust to the system's layout. Base 8? You mean they count in divisions of 8 instead of 10 like us? Will that cause any problem generating a translation key? No, Commander. I will have the translation key completed momentarily and I will transfer the files to your suit systems. I have completed the translation key, Commander. Please approach the blue console and confirm that it is translating the Talon language correctly. Oakley dokely, let's do this. Loading Talon translation key to HDD Talon Lex. Talon Lex added to database, forwarding installation to HUD and audio input output. In the years of 1832-4, the noble Talon, having regained the power of spaceflight and finally returned to the stars, encountered our first adversary in the form of the Trade Federation, an economic power spanning thousands of systems without formal military. They found opposition with our enlightened system of equality and saw our people as both threat and resource. With no military force of our own, we turned to an honorable warrior race, great in number and military prowess, but lacking interstellar travel and uplifting them to be our allies and protectors against the economic might of the Trade Federation. 
With their military and tactical superiority on our side, the Federation's aggression was halted and a stalemate achieved. Seeing no way for a profitable outcome for them, the Federation entered negotiations with our Talon Xyrex Assembly to construct a system of codependent commerce between all our peoples, giving up their rights to military forces in exchange for our allies' protection from external sources of their place. And so the Trade Guild and the Talon Xyrex Assembly were formed. This looks like some kind of historical record. It appears to detail the rise of the Talon and their protectors and allies, the Xyrax. From the dating system, I believe this would be some 2000 years ago and documents roughly 1500 years of the Talon Xyrax Assembly's history over 800 pages. That's a long time to be allies for them to be in the condition they're in now. I'm guessing their more recent history must be on one of the other consoles. The red console is next, Commander. Confirmed, IDA. The red console should have more historical data on the Talon, Commander. Running Talon translation key, Talon.lex, Talon translation 99% accurate, boarding translation to HUD and audio input output. Slowly the silence spread across the galaxy engulfing everything in touch. No warning, no transmissions and no survivors. Gone were the days of peace before the assembly. War was upon us once again, and the bonds that bound us. Together burned bright as the fire of war were waged upon the ancient evil of the past, our past, our legacy. An ancient enemy we thought left behind long ago, bound to a dying galaxy with no way to travel the gulf of emptiness between the origin and destination. Naive we were, for while we are bound by lifetimes of memory, they are not. They took the long journey across the expanse with no thought or risk, only the cost of time the journey would take. To emerge here now, when we were once again at peace, to take from us all that we have built again. To fight was our only choice, but time and distance served to only strengthen the ancient enemy. And so the silence spread like a stain across the face of the galaxy, from where they spread only silence was heard. This doesn't seem to have anything on the Xyrax. It's talking about some war. Whatever this enemy was, it was strong enough to topple a formidable alliance that had ruled the galaxy for over a millennium. I have found thousands of references to the legacy elsewhere in the database, but little information on their appearance and nothing on their language or culture. It can't have been that effective since this happened, what, 400 years ago? And the Xyrex are still here? There's no need to know about a dead enemy that we'll never run into. 239 years, Commander. But indeed the records describe the defeat of the legacy further on. However, the legacy were not completely destroyed, merely rendered dormant through the science and ingenuity of the Talon and Xyrax. But nothing that says how the Talon ended up as this. No commander, I am not sure that it would be recorded here, as such an operation would have been surgical. Leaving no one to update the records in the time permitted, there may be more information regarding that time on the green console. You can always come back and read about the legacy later if it interests you. Alright, alright, I'll bite. I'll go to the green console. The last console to check is the green console, Commander. I know, IDA. You just said to go to the green console. I just said I agreed to the green console and now you're telling me to go see the green console again? Rakuna, go to the green console that is green. And a console. Ugh, you are infuriating. Running Talon translation key, Talon.lex. Talon translation 99% accurate. Boarding, translation to HUD and audio input output. Wait a second. This console only seems to have a database of Talon controlled planets, food, dances, and other culture related stuff. While this is probably what the chief wanted me to read, it's no use to us. Yes, this console appears to contain information about the Talon as a people. Personally, I find it fascinating. Commander. Can you enable the upload connection on the console so I can store these files for the UCH database? You, IDA, find something fascinating? That's the most expression I've heard out of you so far, IDA. One of my parameters is to investigate and document first contact with any alien species. Commander, I am predisposed to fascination of alien creatures and cultures. Does that mean you're investigating those big-ass spiders we've been running into as well? Of course, Commander. If you would like to know more about the creatures we've encountered, you can review the ecological database in your PDA. I'll, uh, I'll pass on that. Thanks, IDA. I'm sorry to interrupt, Commander. 
but I have detected heat signatures moving in on the tower in formation. I was able to trace them back to a transport half a kilometer away, that landed outside my focus. I apologize for not detecting them sooner, Commander. Yeah, thanks a lot, IDA. Great help you are. How many hostiles are we talking about here? There are only three, Commander. They appear to have taken flanking positions. One at the top of the tower to prevent your escape and two preparing to breach. Well, I guess it's go time then. Take position. Alright, let's do this. Let's wait. They're preparing to breach, Commander. Get away from the red console. All right, lock and loaded. Hi, hey guys. Um, uh, let's turn the flashlight on. It is dark outside. Weak Zyrex soldier. I love the description of the weak Zyrex soldier. Like they really send like the the lamest of the soldiers out there. Oh shit! I got a bounty from one of them. Noise from a weak Zyrex soldier. I'm just so freaking thrilled. Oh, there you are. Good work, Commander. All targets eliminated and the transport that dropped them off is returning to base. But how did they know I was here? That was too short a time for them to have gotten as close as they did. The only way the Xyrex could have uh, beaten us here is if, if someone told them we were coming. I have a feeling the Talon are not as peaceful as they claim. Alright, well, more goodies? Yeah? Uh, I'll take this beautiful herbal tea. That would have been useful a couple of episodes ago to have uh, on hand. Luckily, I was able to make it. But, uh, yeah, let's go and see the chief. Did I say confront him since uh, he planned out this trap for us? Oh, my God. Can I fly straight? Oh, my. Uh, I think I'm just going to stay here for a minute. So, yeah, if you ever get this ship, you can remove the two little pieces on the side. I think they might be uh, the main cause of this freaking thing flipping over all the time. Hey, chief, I have a bone to pick with you. I see you have returned, Traveler. I hope your journey was enlightening. Hey, you set me up, you bastard! How dare you! I sent you to learn our language and ways to prove that you are not a Zarek spy. I had hoped you'd have at least learned some manners, but your kind are all alike. Just a cycle ago, when your crashing ship set our land ablaze and we lost many settlements to the fire, and while we were trying to aid your people, and put out the fires your kind panicked, mistook us for the Xyrex and killed several of our people. Xyrex attacked me right after I reached your tower. Chief, explain that. I assure you, I have not betrayed you. Do not throw around such accusation lightly, stranger. Coming to the aid of your people after their ships crashed into our lands cost many of my clansmen. Excuse me. I have an itchy butt. I notice you've been scratching that thing a whole lot. Not only were our homes burned by the fire, started by flaming wreckage, but we lost many lives to your soldiers afterwards, mistaking our assistance as an attack and opening fire on unarmed civilians. Many of the youngster lost friends and relatives that night, and unfortunately as it is, I believe they may have been the one to inform the Zarax. As soon as you have left, a number of young hunters approach me and demanded that I offer you no assistance, that I call you jailers, and trade your location for supplies or weapons. Naturally, I refuse. I would be a poor leader to lend my assistance to the Zarax, who enforcing condition upon us. These conditions? I never did find out how the Talon ended up this way. Ah, uh, yes, that. It's not a terribly long story, and happened long before my time. But if you're willing to listen to an old chieftain prattle on about the past, I'd be glad to indulge you. If only the youngsters who had the patience to learn their history, maybe this tragic situation wouldn't have happened. Following the defeat of the Legacy and their forced dormancy, the Zarax who suffered the greatest or possibly only losses in the war. We Talons were centralized with not much desire for expansion, and left that to those of the assembly who desired freedom. So we were all far from the front lines. We're seen as cowards, not fit to rule. Suspicion and discrimination escalated. While well, theories of us orchestrated the Zarak's demise at the hand of the legacy became common, and xenophobia reigned supreme until it all came to a head. The house of Zarax united behind a single ruler, an emperor and forcibly and violently ended the Talon Zarex assembly. 
The survivors from the Purge were herded onto hundreds of planets across the galaxy. Some to work as slaves, others forced into primitive conditions like us, kept from technological proficiencies by an iron rule enforced by our watchers. That's really all there is. Look around you, and you will see the truth of the tale, Traveler. So what will happen to the hunters? The youngsters will be apprehended and brought before a tribal council to determine their guilt. Selling out an ally to the Xarax is the highest crime we have, if found guilty. I understand. Is there any way that I can help? I believe you may meet opposition. On the other hand, I believe some of the other hunters may also refuse the order to bring in the youngsters. I would ask you, if you are willing, to speak to the head of the hunters and tell him to call in the hunters at my request. Right away, chief. I recall correctly, the head hunter was by the gate when I came in. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Hi, you. Hey, uh, Mr. Bushman. Okay, wow, you are selling diamonds. Apuntia cactus. Okay, cool. And uh, other sorts of nice components and all that. Oh, hey, Mr. Huntsmaster. And who's that? Who is this, a talent warrior? So, what do you have to say? So, you are the Terran that the Chief has vouched for. I'm not impressed. I'm not here to impress you. I'm here because the Chief asked me to tell you to bring the young hunters that are suspected of selling me out to the Xyrax. No members of my hunters would dare sell out any one of to those treacherous Xyrax thugs. You dare accuse my kinsmen of making deals with their kinds? I'm not accusing anyone. I'm here to make sure you call in the hunters instead of warning them. My people have no reason to flee your false accusations, Terran. I have already sent out a message to bring in the hunting parties. And are they back yet? Well, no. They should have returned some time ago. This does not mean they are guilty of anything. Just that something has delayed them. They might be in trouble. Then I will go out and bring them in myself. No, you will not, Terran. I will go out, and you will accompany me to ensure that there is no deception on anyone's part but your own. I can live with that. So where are we going? Young Keev is the closest. You should be near the stone monument at this time of day. I will meet you at the top of the tower if I cannot find him. He will likely be near the tower, invisible from the top. Let's head out then. The monument he's referring to is located not far from the village commander. But this may be a trap. I would recommend exercising caution. Uh, what do you mean, IDA? I was planning on going there naked. Yep. nakedy do. So the monument is not too far from there. I'll meet you guys there, and uh, I'll probably be going there and getting there way before you, since I got a hover vessel. I'm too lazy to walk there. I see the monument, but no sign of our treacherous hunter or the huntsman. I'll check the base of the structure, then make my way up to the top. Commander. I recommend caution when approaching the Talon Hunter. He may attack if you try to bring him in by force and that will only worsen relations with the rest of the Talon people. Okay, let's go and search for Keeve inside. Hello? Hey, Keeve? Dude? You're wanted back at the base there. Chieftain wants to talk to you about some treacherous activity. Stop right there, you deceitful, violent savage. I do not know how you tricked that fool of a chief, but I won't give you the chance to spot any lies at me. I'm here to bring you to that fool of a chief peacefully if I can. Save your lies, Terran. Your people murdered my father, whose only crime was that he was too kind, would never raise his voice or his hand against anyone, and your people shot him in the back while he pulled them from the burning wrecks like the cowards you are. I will never forgive you your kind, Terran. You take this holy monument, this entire planet, with your presence. A presence I will now cleanse, and in doing so, I will help my father's spirit find Empyrean. That's the name of the game. Don't try, Keeve. You don't stand a chance against me with that crossbow. You think you can bring me in? You'll find I didn't come alone. I guess we're gonna do this the hard way then. Um. Hey, it's soldiers! Just like I promised. Look like he made a decision, IDA. He's thrown his lot with the Xyrax. I have to take him down. Okay, you're not going to reply to that, IDA? Okay, where... Uh, oh, hey! Hi! Hey, mister! 
Keep us down. He was a tough bastard. Really? Yeah, I, I don't... I'm not saying that. Uh, I, I take it back. Eh, more we Zarets. Now what the hell do I do? There's no way this could possibly look any worse, guilty or not. I've just killed one of their people. You have several options, Commander. You could flee or return to the Chief and either lie or tell him the truth and hope they're lenient. These dead Zyres could be useful in convincing them of Keef's treachery. I think I'd better return to the village and tell Chief Natuk what happened. IDA, can you monitor this location and make sure no one disturbs the bodies? I'm sure Keef wasn't alone in his actions, and there may be more. Conspirators will want to remove the evidence. I may not look it, but I'm pretty smart. I got a, I got a big brain. Your intelligence was never called into question, Commander. I will keep surveillance over this location and notify you if someone moves the bodies while you report to the Chief. Thank you, IDA. Alright, uh... <laughs> he was holding a slave all this time. No wonder he was easy to kill. He was weighed down. Ooh, the sign of the blood. I think... How much was it? I think it was 5,000 that I need. And I can get, like, an advanced core. So, uh, let's accumulate them. We'll just leave them somewhere. Where's that other body? Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah. Stupid anti-radiation. Well, that wasn't worth it. Now, I think it's only in vanilla that you need to go to the top and check out the uh, the tablet up there. I don't think that I need to go up there. So, let's go and report back to the chief. Probably, uh, probably he'll be okay with that, right? Hey, Chief, uh, I, got, I got some bad news for you. Commander, I see you have returned, Traveler, but it is without the, the missing hunter, Keef. No, you do not need to explain. One of the hunters already saw you gun down Keef on top of the monument tower. I wasn't really on top of the tower, sir. It saddened me that you would work to gain my trust only to kill my clansmen in cold blood. What do you have to say for yourself now, Terran? The Zyrax killed Keef, not me. We talents are not violent people. We never initiate an attack, but we will respond if attacked. In this case, we have already received word that Keith's body was found alone at the base of the monument with several holes in his body matching your weapon. There are no other bodies. Your guilt is clear, Terran. Yeah, shit, I guess the lie didn't work. What did you say? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Uh, proceed. I had hoped you would become a friend of the clan travelers. We are so lacking in allies in these trying times that it seems that I pinned my hope that we could mend a gap between our two peoples. I'm not lying. The bodies were removed after I left to return here. Enough! No, Chief. What the Terran says is true. I saw it with my own eyes. Keef is a traitor. Hans Master, you who lost so many of your hunters to the Terrans, why would you truly vouch for this one? You who cried loudest for vengeance against the Terran interlopers. Yes, Chief. I watched Keeve leave their party of before Zyrax to the monument and initiate an attack on the Terran, who I sent to the monument to wait for me to bring Keeves peacefully. Wait a second, I didn't see four Zyrax soldiers. I am the head of the hunters for a reason, Terran. I know my way around a knife. In Zyrax body armor. What I want to know is how you know the bodies were removed when I never saw you return to the scene. I'm commander of the UCH for a reason, Hunter. I have my ways. You have a machine mind watch the area, didn't you? Ha 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 ha. If you think you can pull the fur over my chief's eye, friend, you need to try harder. Does your machine mind know who took away the bodies? They are surely in league with Keeve's scheme and need to be cut before they cause any more harm. With no way to identify them, all I can tell you is that there's four of them. Then I know who they are. There are only four hunters still on a patrol that did not heed the summon, Chief. But that is an issue for another time, is it not? Yes, I believe it is, Huntmaster. I am sorry, Traveler, that you had to see us in a time of weakness. I must truly be getting old if I could not see the darkness brewing within our use. It's not your fault, Chief. There are people, and they were wrong by mine. True, but the fault lies with me for not realizing how troubled my clansmen were, and also lies with them for not bringing their troubles to me before the situation worsened to what we have now. Things could have been much worse, so I'm glad that a crisis was averted. Even the result isn't what anyone could call positive. Yeah, Chief, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but can you please stop that? Stop what? S scratching your butt like that. 
Ugh, you know what? And n never mind. Just proceed. You are now welcome among thy clan, Traveler Recruiter. Rest here and be at ease here. If there's anything I can do to help you, please ask me. Where did the Talon survivors go to? Your clansmen? Their vehicle headed to the station belonging to the Palaris traders. I know this because I was there purchasing medical supplies when I saw them organizing transportation off-world on a freighter. I will give you the coordinates of the station if you need them, but I'm sure your machine mind has already found the structure. I hope you find your people again, Traveler. May the spirits guide you to Empyrean, if not your people. And may the spirits guide you too, Chief. And now you're sounding like a member of the clan. Yeah, farewell, Chief Natuk. I hope to see you again. Chapter 3, Industrial Concern You've cleared your name and found an unlikely ally in the Dalin, but it seems things are not always what they seem, and trust needs to be earned in this new galaxy. Can the Polaris who helped smuggle your people off or to head of the Zarax be trusted, or are they playing a deeper game? Only time will tell. From the location data provided by the Talon Chief, I have identified the neutral station from which the UCH survivors left the planet. There are many transmissions and ships coming and going from the station. Their lack of armaments indicates that they are likely cargo freighters. If I had to make a guess commander, I would say that it's some form of trading station devoted solely to the buying, selling and shipping of cargo. It appears to be completely unarmed aside from a small security detail. So, it should be safe to go there. Those Irish presents? I don't want to get there and find another ambush waiting for me. There is little chance of that, Commander. I am keeping watch over the surrounding area. You are safe. I have forwarded the location data to your display. Thank you very much, IDA. And, uh, Chief, if you ever need ointment, just let me know and I can help you, uh, get you something for that constant itch of yours. Good talk, sir. Good talk. So we've got a trade station that is five kilometers away. Five clicks. Now, I am thinking, should I be going there? Or maybe I should start actually collecting some resources and maybe setting up a little camp, a little place to call home. Well, I'll be able to store my goodies. Now, first of all, let's look at the map here. So we are somewhere around here in the village. Okay, this is the portal which will take us to Atlantis and wherever we want to go, I want to be near those portals to have quick access there. So maybe setting up camp somewhere around here, probably near the mountain and the lake so I can have water generators, would be the wisest idea. Let's set up a marker for now. Um, maybe? Let's uh, do a remove on approach there so we don't, uh, we don't always have that on there. Okay, let's uh, take a little stroll over there and uh, and let's see what that looks like. And maybe I can throw a couple of pings along the way, but it would seem that I pretty much discovered uh, all that there was along the way already. Oh my god, yes, these freaking wings on the side there, they make me hit absolutely everything. Oh, well, we seem to have a damaged hover bike over here. You know what? Let's get off this thing and uh, let's at least salvage the pieces. Oh, it would appear that there was already some stuff inside of the hover bike. Let's grab those. Let's connect to the silverfish and let's start salvaging some pieces. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch those wings. I gotta be careful. It's not gonna be a whole lot of components, but uh, components nonetheless that I'm gonna be using to uh, probably build the outpost that I need. And there goes the last little piece. Sweet. So onwards we go. So I'm looking at this and I can see possibilities already. We've got a big nice flat terrain over here. We got trees around for wood if we need. We got Talon Scouts. Hi, hey guys, wh wh what are you guys doing here? We're not in Talon territory. Why the hell are you so far away from home? Well, you know what? I'll just leave you guys be. Well, we got a big mountain over here. I got a lot of wood, the lake is not too far. Maybe in the mountain, I could dig myself a little place for myself. The only thing is, uh, it's gonna take quite a bit to dig in here. And I only have one charge of this clip. I could probably dig and put it in a silverfish, so uh, let's get started.
Okay, we got a little basic hole started up here. Now, the only thing is I'm going to have to be, uh, you know, starting to make some concrete blocks to be exact. Uh, first things first, I need to unlock the portable constructor. That's going to be very needed. And to be able to make that, I need some iron ore. So, yeah, I didn't use all my drill charges just because I knew I had to do some of that manual mining eventually. So, let's go see if I can find myself some ores. And by the looks of it, there's not much over here. Copper. Wait a second, did the icons change? I think that was part of the one of the updates lately from uh, Empyrean. So, yeah, let's uh, let's cheer. Progress! Yay, updates! Now, for this particular uh, mission, I think I'm going to take the uh, hover bike out so I can travel a little faster. All I need are five uh, iron ores, and I'm sure I'm going to be able to locate those quite fast. And it's not iron, but let's pick up the silicone. There seems to be a couple of uh, minerals here right on the beach. What is that? Okay, that's just crushed stone. Well, we got more in the water over here, and uh, yeah, after all this time, I, I still love the, the water update that they did. Yeah, I know it's, uh, it's forever ago, but... Still, they did an awesome job with that. Made the water look really good. All right, so, so far I'm locating silicone. Lots and lots of silicone. Uh, fine, great, fantastic. And crushed stones, yeah. Ooh, I think we found our iron. Booyah, seven. All right, let's start with the building of this constructor. All right, we are back. Let's grab this. I don't want it to despawn. It'd be cool if you could just leave it down and it just never despawns, right? All right, let's slap this little puppy down here. Ah, look at it. It's so cute. Yeah, they really did change the uh, the little icons for the uh, oars. What was that? Clothing? Leather clothing made from animal skin. Oh, really? I guess those are things that you can sell at the market. Yeah, $1,250 from that. That's pretty cool. And Nakwada plates. What are those? All right, this is all stuff I've never seen, but... Uh, Oh yeah. So to begin with, let's make, uh, let's kind of, uh, you know, just make a starter base. No, just one. I don't know why you're doing so many. And let's make a bazillion concrete blocks, which, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get all that. So let's just let that work for a little bit and uh, we'll be able to pick up those blocks and get to work. Now, at least what I'd want is to, you know, put the core, have myself uh, some blocks, and also have myself maybe uh, some storage, mostly storage, because I think what I'm going to be doing also is uh, heading over to Atlantis and, and getting some of that inventory back over here. I can't just leave it at Atlantis all the time. And once I do an instance, I could just leave it in my inventory, warp back here, just drop it back at the... Uh, at our base and one thing I'm gonna need to do is also get myself some more uh, drill charges because uh, uh, you know what I'm out <laughs> I'm out I'm done Oof. I think I couldn't have chosen the worst angle for this really that is terrible anyways let's start by putting that down here let's lower it just a tad and there you go let's go and start putting some floors in uh, there are some little spots in which I'm going to have to dig a little deeper there. And you know what? By looking at this, uh, I I'm going to have to dig a lot more. So uh, let me go ahead and head over to the uh, portals POI. And over there, I think I'll be able to buy my charges or maybe just go through the portal and actually go and pick some things from the locker. And in the meantime, this thing can, uh, you know, kindly work on making myself some more concrete blocks. Well, you know what, this thing goes quite well when it's on water and there's no obstacle. Otherwise, I hit everything. It might be the landing pad underneath as well that's not helping. Alright, so we are back at the portals. Let's leave our ship there. Let's go check out inside and uh, see what type of traders that we had here. Hey, uh, Perv, uh, can you please stop staring? You're, you're kind of making this awkward. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> So, by the looks of it, both of these dudes are selling food, and that's not what I need. I think it's going to be time to go back to the Atlantis station. Oh yeah. It's good to be back. 
Well, let's go see what I have in my locker. Ugh, so much stuff. <laughs> I should have emptied out a little bit of my gear there before I, I came here. So by the looks of it, I think I could bring a couple of uh, pistol charges. Uh, maybe just half of that. And aside from that, by the looks of it, I don't have any charges whatsoever. Either, either for the multi-tool or for the drill. So I'm going to go up and see the merchants. Wow, by looking at this, the Signs of the Blood sell for 5000 each, which is a lot of money. But again, there's still that dude that wants 5000 for an advanced core. Where was he again? Yeah, this dude over here. Oh, it's a thousand! A thousand Signs of the Blood for one advanced core. Well, I mean, I'm at two, but I'm sure to encounter many more in my trek through the universe. You know what? This is not good so far. I have checked every merchant and none of them sell some drill charges or anything. So I will guess I'll have to do them the old-fashioned way. I'll have to build myself a better constructor and make myself some drill charges. First of all, I have gold and this lady here deals in gold. The 9-8 woman. Matter generators require 5 gold ingot. What is the task? Oh, look at that. This person is uh, selling multi-charges? What? Okay, I got a multi-charge? 30 of them. Well, that's pretty cool. Do you have any drill charges? Absolutely not, but you got first aid kids, so I'll I'll see about taking some of those. And that gives me trauma, detox, and all that. So that's pretty cool. The gold can be used uh, for something else. Anyways, let's put the gold away. And I think for now I can just leave the rest of the stuff here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to make multiple trips eventually and go and pick them back up. Let's add a little bit of fuel to this puppy. And I think the freaking thing is stuck. What the hell are you stuck on? Move it, damn you! Well, you know what? I think the ship is broken. I have went out and back into the game. And nothing is happening. This thing is not turning. It's not lifting off. What the hell did I do wrong? What is wrong with this thing? You know what? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave you here for now. Alright? Yeah, aside from these blocks, do you have anything else? No? I'll come and pick you back up a little later. In the meantime, I'm gonna be heading back to our... Uh, at home. And... <laughs> yeah. I'll be getting back to work on the base a little bit. And as for the uh, drill charges, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, make them the old-fashioned way, right? Through the constructor. I'm not sure, though, is a portable constructor able to build them? I don't know. I hope so. Thank you for the ride. At least you're freaking working. And I got a couple blocks. <laughs> That's all I got. So, multi-drill charges and all that. I can make them. I just need to unlock them uh, right through here. I need to laser drill, and now I should be able to make myself some. I need the fuel cells, and I do have a couple of fuel cells there I can spare. So let's make ourselves four drill charges. All right, it's gonna be time to get back to work. I wanna focus at least at making the entrance. I got a, an idea of what type of entrance I want. I, I didn't expect the blocks to simply go that way, so I'm going to have to make it go diagonally. I'm going to have to move a couple of things in here that might be slightly heavier, like this, so I can bring some more blocks with me. Oh great, so I can take 40 with me. Let's get building. And let's go like this. This is going to be our little entrance hallway. Let's go ahead and uh, smoothen these out. Like this, and same thing on the other side. This, then we can kind of fill this in. Maybe I actually put some more dirt on top of there. Oh yeah, some of these. This is really not like building in creative mode. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Structural integrity. It exists. Uh, let's go ahead and slap de do some of these things in here then. And that should be holding. And now all we need to do is make like a little uh, step here at the entrance. I need to uh, just drill a little bit over here as well so I can place a block right smack there. Maybe remove a little smidgen over here like this and after that, eventually what we'll be able to do is just kind of uh, flatten this out. 
There you go. Flattening. Can I try to flatten this crap? Yeah, like this over here? It's not flattening. What the hell? Okay, that decided to flatten over here, but did a weird thing there. There you go. I guess I can do a little bit of fine drilling just for little uh, notches like this. Right? You gonna you gonna do it? That's a that's a good drill. I love that. And after that, we need some more blocks and we'll make it go inwards. So we have our little opening here on foot. And eventually, yes, I'll want to make like a, a big opening a hatch for vessels and all that. And uh, we're going to have ourselves a nice little base inside of this mountain. It's going to be totally awesome with uh, defenses, rocket launchers and Gatling guns and all of the pizzazz. So we can defend ourselves against the Cyrix scum. But for now, I got some more drilling to do. I got a lot of work to do, actually, so... <laughs> I believe that will be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button, and I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.